Are you predominantly giving Germany some credit because they're playing at home? I mean, these friendlies are like a little bit like putting lipstick on a pig, aren't they? In terms of what it is, <laughs> they've been I've poor never tried in tournaments. to do that, have you? No, but you know what I mean. I mean, do you really, looking at what Germany have done with these recent results that have been friendlies, and they did labour against the Ukrainians, and they did they should have won the game, but they, they still laboured. Do you really think that just beyond the home advantage that the German team has improved much from what we I saw think, in Qatar? I think home advantage is, in, is really important. Yeah, I do think they've improved, and I think there's a better balance to the team, there's a better system to the team. Tony Kroos has come out of international retirement, adds a little bit of composure and poise. Uh, that's allowed Ilkay Gundogan to play a little bit further up, higher up, to link with those who are already very good at creating chances. They've got uh, a good fullback on the right-hand side, Joshua Kimmich, who has gone out of midfield and back to right back. Two good centre-halves in Jonathan Tarr, who plays for Leverkusen, yep. did brilliantly there. Yep. And Antonio, Antonio Rudiger, who we all know is a terrific defender. So they've got a great squad. They've got a very good squad. And they've got a manager who at 30, obviously, is very, very young. Sure. But is a very good tactician. So they could end up going all the way. And as host nation, I think the people they, here would love it. You said to me there or thereabouts. They didn't say there, or there, <laughs> there or thereabouts or maybe one better and go all the way. In terms of who is a threat to England. Yeah. Um, uh, as to who might be around when the trophy is lifted. Give me a couple of other nations, Sam. I mean, obviously, Mbappe and the French are heavily yeah, yeah, listen, they could bump into it. I think when you get to the quarterfinals, if, if it maps out as the betting odds suggest, yeah. then you'll end up with quarterfinals of England against Italy, um, fr France against Spain, Spain, uh, Portugal against um, the Netherlands and, and Germany against somebody else. I mean, look, the, the, top eight, great. the top eight teams will yeah. all be involved. Great matches. So look, there's, yeah. there's certainly there's certainly the, the potential Who's to bump into horse? big people. Well, look, I think France should win it. France should win it. You think they've France got, should win it? Well, they've got the experience. They've won the World Cup. They've come close in European Championships before 2016. They won yeah. the World Cup in 2018. They've recently been in a World Cup final. They've got the best player in the world in Mbappe. They've got Antoine, Antoine Griezmann, who is absolutely terrific for the national team. Team, and they've got a solid defence and, 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 and a reasonably good goalkeeper as well in Mike Magnon, who plays for AC Milan. I, I think they should win it because they've got the, the, the best resources. Portugal have got a fantastic, fantastic squad, but there's a question mark about how Ronaldo fits into that and Roberto Martinez has got to do very well in order to I integrate him. Netherlands have got a brilliant defence, but not so much going forward. Um, uh, Italy won it last time. No one's talking about him. The big outsiders at 14 to 1. Yeah. That Spalletti's only been there a year and hasn't had much time to get his sort of teeth into to, to how they're going There's to play. There's an identity so, on it. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, that's a little bit different. So if it was me, I'd be saying you're looking at France, you're looking at Germany, you're looking at Portugal as the main threat. And there's a one in there, Sam, or Simon, you come in on this as well, that we might be say, saying at the end of this tournament, never in a million years did we think they'd win it. But they've won it like Greece all these years ago. Yeah, and Portugal in 2016. Sometimes the Euros does throw up that. But defensive solidity is going to be really, has always traditionally been really important, which is why France play the way they do. They play in moments. They don't necessarily play with, you know, the handbrake off, which it frustrates people in, in, in Paris and Lyon and Bordeaux as much as it frustrates people in England that Gareth Southgate doesn't do that either. Uh, but look, England have got a chance, but when you study all the others, there's a lot of other teams that have got a chance too. So let's just see how it pans out. I think England, with Luke Shaw being available, gives them a better chance. Let's hope that John Stones is up to full speed as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you are hoping and thinking England, obviously, as you have been saying yeah. to me coming over here now that we are here. But is there another one you think from what Sam has said? And Sam, that was a brilliant comprehensive roundup. You think, do you know what? I've swung it. He swung me in this direction. No, I mean I think that there's common sense in what what Sam is saying. The host nation gets momentum because they're experienced operators, and ultimately they'll get the momentum yeah. as a result of if they play well in the first game, they'll start their engines and they start to build from that. Obviously the French, but I think that the French was a game in the, in, in in the World Cup that we could and should have won. Mm. Uh, and if that totally belief agree. system starts from the first whistle, then I think we're perfectly capable of beating the French. My argument and debate with Sam is is that if England can win a pick'em game, which they have not done which is a game that you go into where on the balance of probability you aren't expected to win it's a 50-50 situation or maybe you're slight underdogs yeah. if England win one of these games in a tournament they will win the tournament and if it's Italy or if it's France in the quarters or semi-finals and they overcome that then I pick England to win the tournament okay. on the back of that if they okay. play Italy they should beat Italy yeah. if they play France it's a 50-50 Sam yeah. wonderful thank you for Excellent. being here Lovely my to friend see you. brilliant Sam and thanks for getting the heaters out Sam <laughs> yeah we've dispensed <laughs> with our attempts uh, with the gazebo that has now gone in actual fact there was a huge gust of when we don't know where the gazebo has ended up <laughs> in this park Jim White and 
Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.